friends, Marissa here. I am back to share with you um, my other platinum. I had ordered um, a platinum, okay, it was this one that I already unboxed with you, a platinum um, pen from Amazon Japan. And then I ordered a second and it arrived. So I wanna unbox that with you. Um, I don't know. I think it's maybe the holiday season that has inspired the the, the color of the body. But um, let's do some uh, nib comparisons a little bit today because I, I've discovered two, two new um, fountain pen nibs that were not previously in my collection. Boy, that was a tight sleeve. Um, I already unboxed and shared with you this platinum. It's the 3776. And it is, I don't know if you can tell on the body that it is um, a laurel green. But it is very beautiful. It's such a dark green that it that almost looks black, um, possibly to you on the camera. With a gold trim. Um, if I use my uh artist light table behind like i did previously uh you possibly could see the green showing through i'll have to try that anyway we've already shared this pen on an unboxing and it did come with the um cartridge here and it looks like a blue ink um, I do want to use the cartridge in one of the pens, um, but I did purchase separately, where'd it go? Um, I did purchase separately a converter and I got gold to match uh, the trim on the pen. They are also available in silver. It did not come with the converter. Um, that was a separate purchase. Um, it's a little bit on the costly side as far as converters go. It costs twice as much as any other converter I've purchased, but um, I've yet to use it. I haven't decided which pen I'm going to use it in, and I'll show you in a moment um, what's causing my dilemma <laughs> or my delay. It's not really a dilemma. It's just a delay. It's like I, I don't want to act too quickly and put it in the pen that's like, oh, I wish I put it in the other pen. Because my converters are, I love converters um, because it enables me to use my uh, bottle ink um, or the cartridges you use what comes in it until you empty it and then you're able to um, refill it with a needle syringe. But uh, I don't know. Let's see what we're going to do. So the Laurel Green. Platinum 3776. And the new one. Ta-da! It looks, maybe it looks red to you. Um, the description was burgundy. And I, I don't know if it has something to do with the holiday season. Why I'm into the greens and reds. But my two latest uh, Kawakos are green and red. <laughs> as I shared, and I purposely ordered those for holiday inks, holiday ink colors. So let me take this off. Um, again, this is from Amazon Japan. And the reason I ordered from Amazon Japan was because they're less expensive. Um, almost half the price of the American market, the U.S. market. So um, I'm not really a fan of red per se but this is a burgundy and it looks gorgeous especially along with the green at this time of year okay i think i need to put some kind of white background behind there let me try this does that help you see red and green um because i can see it beautifully with my eye but on the camera i'm not sure it's showing up as beautifully as I'm seeing it. So what is amazing about the Platinum 3776? The 3776 denotes that uh, is a um, an attribute to Mount Fuji and it is 3,776 meters high. So that's where the 3776 comes from. 
And if we look closely, if I can get um, focus on the pin band, it does say three number 3776 Century, and it's platinum made in Japan. Okay, that's what the band says. So um, inking them up is my next step and talking about the nibs. So when I ink them up, you'll be able to see the nib. Um, this is the first ever, and it is a 14 karat gold nib. By the way, the Platinums, let me go here again, if I can get a background. The Platinum Breather Hole, it has a heart shape, which is adorable. I just love that. This is a 14 karat gold nib, and this, uh, the green laurel is an ultra extra fine. So down here, the little letters next to the uh, collar, UEF. I have not experienced or owned a, an ultra extra fine before. So that is a new nib size to my collection. And this one in burgundy is a soft fine. It is SF. I'm not sure if you can make out the little um, SF letters here above the collar. Um, Again, it is a 14 karat gold nib and that gorgeous heart shape breather hole. So um, I'm gonna have fun with these pens. I'm gonna enjoy them immensely. Uh, they do not come with a converter. That is a separate purchase as I've shared previously. Comes with the cartridge. Cartridges can be flushed and refilled, um, but I really like using my fountain pen inks. Um, one fabulous, um, aspect of the the platinum I was going to say palette oops of the platinum um, is their sealing device inside the cap and it's kind of hard to see this is a translucent barrel um, with the naked eye I can see through it I'm not sure what you can see on the camera but there is a sealing device um, that is built within the cap there's a plastic like cap shroud and a spring at the top so when you screw in your barrel at one point, the screwing mechanism triggers this uh, sealant, the sealing cap. Um, a spring mechanism pushes it down and it seals around your nib section. Um, I've seen it advertised that your um, ink could remain wet and writable for up to a year. Now imagine me, unless I lose my pen, you know, put it somewhere and forget about it. I cannot imagine myself leaving this pen um, uncapped, you know, unused for a year, but I'm tempted to try it. <laughs> I'm tempted to see if I could put this in a drawer somewhere for a year and see if I can, you know, uncap it. Um, on December 3rd, 2023, to see if it still writes. That's that's just that's just me. Um, but you know, it's it's satisfying to know that capability is within this pen. It's not advertised in other pens. Um, okay, so I'm back with um, the platinum prep preppy. This is a Lowen pen. Um, right at around less than ten dollars and it has the same sealing mechanism spring uh, sealing mechanism in the cap as the high-end pen um, anyway I purchased this uh, but I have not engaged the cartridge in it yet so I haven't experienced the nib but it does say it is a extra fine uh, zero, uh, 0 0.02 and it does have within the cap it has the same spring mechanism I don't know if you can see that here I'm hoping and sealing device this is what you would have inside the cap that you can't see 
but I like that this is visible. So you have the same sealing mechanism that engages. Um, back to the Platinums. Um, I will engage the cartridge and show you what this uh, nib writes like. And um, because I'm going to be comparing it to the Laurel Green, which has the Ultra Extra Fine, and the Burgundy, which has the Soft Fine. The uh, Platinum has several nib sizes, all the way up to, like they have the Medium, Broad, and when you see the name that's coarse, it's like the Double Broad, but it's like such a great variation from broad to double broad that from broad to coarse is like you missed a step there um, from the writing samples that I've seen. As and I, I researched those as I was planning uh, my order. So let's get to inking and doing a writing sample. Okay, so we, um, I just moved some stuff around on my table here and we are ready to ink the two pens. Um, I was deciding what ink to put in the converter and what pen to use the cartridge with at this point. So um, it looks like because I have my latest um, sample from my Trufe uh, sub box and it looks like on number four it's at Shea Urban Rouge Granat, and I think I want to use that um, in the burgundy pen. And because this is, I was looking through my ink sample tray, this is Diamine Garland, a uh, sample from Goulet Pens, but it is a shimmer ink, and I really don't think I want a shimmer in an ultra extra fine. For clogging issues so we're not going to go there today um that would be a nice color to put in my little kaweco um green pen so let's go with on the green we're going to go with cartridge and this is proprietary uh platinum you use their own cartridge their own specific uh, converters so we'll pop this in and because I inserted the cartridge here I need to give time for the ink to move down to the feed of course I could go ahead and give it a squeeze, but I have other work to do. So I'm gonna leave it um, standing upside down vertical in my little tray. And let's get to inking this. In order to ink this, I'm going to need the um, converter inserted. These are proprietary. You have to make sure you have the platinum uh, converter. So I do have another one on order for the other pen in case I ever need to swap out the cartridge. But for now, we're going with this one. Okay, just first attempt. That was like a three quarter fill, which is enough for now because we're just experimenting with inks in our pens and I may need to change my mind, you know, that's another reason, um, fountain pen, fountain pens and converters are excellent choices because, you know, it gives a girl a chance to change her mind. What can I say? All right, barrel on. And let me move these boxes aside because I wanna bring in a tablet. Um, 
let's talk about posting. So it's a very comfortable size for me um, to use unposted, but being an acrylic resin body, it's very lightweight and it does not um, apply extra weight to the back end. So it's a comfortable right for posted or unposted. So however you, whatever is your favor. And when I first started using fountain pens, I posted, but that was because I was used to the um, Pilot Flare pens. All other, all other pens I've ever used in my whole life, you posted because you didn't want to lose the cap. It was just a habit. And now that I've been using fountain pens and finding my comfort zone, there's many pens that I use unposted. I just have to stand my cap vertically so that it doesn't roll around so I don't lose it. There you go. There's my blooper for today. <laughs> anyway, give me a minute to, um, I'm going to bring the tablet here and we're going to do some writing samples with the uh, burgundy with the laurel green and with the platinum preppy. Let me pop that cartridge in there real quick. So it'll be ready to go. This is the same uh, proprietary cartridge in the preppy that you would use in the high-end pen simply because it is a platinum brand. So we got the puncture going, uh, waiting for the ink to work down to the feed. And this is an extra fine preppy. Point zero two. Um, let's just check here for posting. Oh, it posts comfortably. And this is like a student um, model, very affordable student model pen. Oh, look at me. Did you see I was screwing this screw, 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 and it is a push and click cap. So, Rhodia tablet and we'll just do some writing samples with nib sizes on the platinum and I think I may need I think I'm gonna move my camera so you can have a different angle the last time I tried to write from this angle um, I was getting a lot of out of focus um, so hold on so I'm trying a new angle um, on the camera um, with a different tripod so that um, we can get a good visual for you when I'm placing the letters or doing a writing sample for you. Um, so I'm writing with the platinum. And what's amazing about this, this is the soft fine and it does, it's not a flex nib, but I do feel some soft um, flex when I... Um, actually apply pressure on the downstrokes. So that's pretty amazing. This is the Platinum 3776 Century. Oops, I almost made a G. And a soft, fine nib. And so when I'm, when I'm uh, writing slowly, the ink seems to be darker and wetter. And then when I a speed write, there is a finer line and a lighter color, if you can see that. Horizontal lines um, are fine and there is a pulling effect at the end of the line, but the pull down lines are much wetter and whiter. So, Here's a little pulling of the ink in a square. And this ink actually that I'm writing with is the J. Urban uh, Rouge Garnet that I received um, in the monthly sub box from uh, Truffe. So we're gonna move right along to what I have in the 
uh, laurel green pen. And in this one, I inserted the uh, cartridge that came with. Because in my purchase, I only ordered one converter. All right, this is the Platinum 3776 Century. And I did it again. Um, it is an ultra extra fine nib and I know you can hear and I can also feel the feedback, but it's comfortable, um, feedback as far as like some sailor pens go. Okay. We almost have equal amounts of ink here on the horizontal and the vertical lines. Um, in the ultra extra fine and this ink is whatever ink came in the platinum uh, cartridge I'm not sure what the name of that ink is so um, just fixing up a little boo boo all right and next we are going to write with the Platinum Preppy, which is a student grade fountain pen, and it is a, it says EF Extra Fine at .02 nib, and I think the line width is very near the soft fine here on the 3776. This is a 0 0.02 EF nib. I know you can hear the feedback. I don't feel it as um, deep or fine as in the Ultra Extra Fine. It does have a, a smoother um, application of the ink on the page. We have equal line uh, variation here on horizontal and vertical. Maybe a little more pooling on the downstroke here at the bottom of the stroke. And um, I'm not sure what the name of the ink is in the platinum cartridge, but it is black. Platinum cartridge. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to. Platinum cartridge black that came with, and this is the platinum cartridge blue that came with the pen. Um, I do have another platinum preppy that I ordered, but it's not included in the video. Um, you know, I need to open that because it does have a different nib. It is the Fine 0.03. So let me do a quick open. Okay, with this pen, I did receive uh, two packs of um, two ink cartridges, total four in all, that came with the purchase. And it also has, sorry this was not included earlier in the video, it also has a cartridge inside that says... Uh, violet. I don't know. Can you see that? Let me get it in the right light. It does say violet on the side of the cartridge. So let's pop that in. Um, I had this pen thinking it was the same as the other platinum preppy. I just didn't realize it was a different uh, nib size. So, all right. Oh, you know what? Since I just inserted this, I'm going to give this cartridge uh, a quick little squeeze to help move ink down to the nib feed because I just inserted it. All right. And of course, the purple light I ordered so I could take it to work with me. That's where I use my purple pins. All right, let's see if we have some ink. All right. Platinum.
preppy. And this one happens to be 0 0.03. And what did it say on the barrel? Fine. So this is 0 0.03 fine nib. There's quite the difference between fine and extra fine here. Um, and they, they are both um, platinum ink cartridges. So this is a very comfortable write. Again, this is a student grade, very affordable pen. Um, Uh, line width on horizontal and vertical are similar, but um, there's more ink put down on the vertical downstrokes. That's a gorgeous color to, to see when it's pulled. All right, um, this is the platinum cartridge. violet. I like it. Okay. I uh, just noticed at the, the top of this cap, it has, can I get in the camera frame? Um, the zero three. Does it have it here? Yes. I did not notice that the number was, um, marked on the cap finials there. Anyway, thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. And I hope some of this information was beneficial to you. And I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.